Oh my gosh. It's freaking like one degree out right now and we're trying to do a modification on the M4. Now, if you don't know, the M4 is missing a very important piece and this is the piece, but it shifts my house and it won't fit in my Camry, which is going to transport this to my shop. So what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. This is going to be one of the last parts that really transforms my M4. It is a PSM rear diffuser, full carbon fiber, very expensive, very large and aggressive. And I've been waiting a long time for this piece, maybe too long, and it finally is here. I waited a long time because it was really expensive. Anyways, it is super cold. We gotta get this to the shop. And uh, I was going to tie this trunk down, but there's nothing to tie it down to. So we're just gonna go. That should work. On second thought, I figured out a solution. I have rope that I wrapped around the trunk. That way the trunk doesn't fly up so that if we do pass a police officer and he sees us driving like this, he won't pull us over because he'll think we have everything scrapped down. But we don't. Look at how cold it is right now. Negative five degrees. <laughs> I don't know why I decided to do this on the second coldest day of the year. It's still there. We got another mile and a half to the shop. Well, the rope fell off. <laughs> that was a sad attempt. All right. This looks pretty cool, even though it's still wrapped. There's the diffuser, there's the hardware. Let's go ahead and get the packaging off. And there it is. Look at all that beautiful carbon. This thing's huge. That's what she said. Now we got the two side pieces, canards kinda. We got the giant middle piece with little air ducts and the other smaller middle piece. Right now my car just really has that piece. Like, look at this. Look at how lame that looks. Man, this thing's gonna completely transform the car. And then the car's gonna look aggressive from the front and the back. Sadly though, we're not gonna install it right this minute. It'll be pretty quick for you guys, but it's gonna be like six, seven hours for me. I gotta go to work. We also gotta go grab a space heater and a drill. I'm thinking Milwaukee. I asked some friends waiting for them to get back on me on that, but we gotta get a drill and a space heater. So I'll see you after work when we're grabbing those. Few moments later. Slight change of plans. Uh, we're not buying a drill, we're not getting a heater, we're not even going to install the diffuser here. We're going to my boy Remy's place. It is a nice, insulated, heated shop with a bunch of lights, a bunch of tools that he's gonna let us use. However, we gotta drive the M4 there, and it is currently negative eight degrees. So, yeah, I've never driven this car in colder weather than like 20. I don't even know if he'll start. <laughs> it's cold. Here we go. Very anticlimactic. While the car isn't throwing any codes, except for this dry safety function, I don't know what that is, but we do have a low tire pressure sensor thingy and that's because the tires are way under temperature. Now usually I always do like the little with all the gas, like put everything in and fill it up and pull the receipt, but we're just gonna do this. There we go. Don't know what that whining noise is though, that's weird. Like listen. What is that, a boost leak? I have, I have no clue what that is. What is that? Now the thing is, it has made that sound in the past, but only when it's like cold. So I don't know, if you guys know what that is, let me know down in the comments. Really weird. Well, boys, we made it. We are at his shop. We gotta get inside, get the heat on, get the lights on, and start working on this thing. Oh yeah, and move the Evo. Look at this thing, it's completely mangled. What do you guys think? Should we do a rebuild series on a car like this? You see, I thought some idea is that it would be fun, but we would definitely need 
our own shock. All right, no more games. We're not messing around anymore. The diffuser is out of the car. We got all of the screws right here. We gotta find Remy's drill. Found it. All right, we gotta jack up the car. We gotta get this old ugly diffuser off and then we can start figuring out how to put this one on. Didn't come with instructions, so we gotta like figure this out. I'm assuming this centerpiece goes on first. Now we're gonna leave it like this. I was initially gonna lift up both sides, but I couldn't find any blocks to put in front of the front wheels. I know this is a level surface shop, but still, kind of sketchy to have both rear wheels off the ground. So underneath it looks like it's just a few eight mils holding on this old one. Of course, it's an eight mil on this side and it's a freaking Phillips on the other. Beautiful, so that's off. Now we just gotta put on this piece. All right, that was pretty simple. I don't know why, but that sounded like it was on. Oh, that's why they gave us different hardware. So thanks to SenCal Motorsports, which is where this whole diffuser is from, they gave us a bunch of fresh hardware to put this thing on correctly. Two more, and of course, they're mix matched. When I'm done with this car, there's never gonna be a mismatched bolt, ever. Everything's going to be the same as OEM. There won't be a weird 10 mil mixed with an eight mil, mixed with a nine. And look at how shiny that carbon is. Dang! This piece, that's the one I'm excited for. Also, in looking at this, kinda got an issue. See how it's lower there and higher there? I think the heat shielding's bent, so I'm gonna have to bend that down. Oh, that's on the money. Now, it looks like with this big piece, there's one thing that we need to note, just in case you're installing one of these ones too. These holes, are utilizing OEM places. So, with that being said, you're gonna need a nut, bolt, and washer right here. And luckily, Remy has some extras. Remy, if you're watching this video, I'm pretty sure they weren't important. Woo, woo, woo! Start look pretty cool. A bang, bang, a skeet, skeet. So now is the really fun part. Since we got this side all down and everything, we gotta go ahead and prep this. Prep right here, and then double side tape. And I'm pretty sure this reuses those OEM ones. Look at that beautiful goodness. Now it's on there. That looks so much better, what? Okay, it's all done. It looks incredible, like night and day difference. Like you wouldn't think this is the same car. Now, this video wouldn't be a signature Jake Schneider video without a montage. So you're gonna see the diffuser in three, two, one. Doesn't that thing look menacing? <laughs> like completely changed the car, carbon overload. We got the carbon diffuser, the carbon tips, the carbon wing, and the little carbon fangs. But I have one more thing. I know there's gonna be haters in the comments saying, oh, it's not that big of a change. Like, yeah, it's a lot, but it's all carbon. You can barely see it. Well, if you guys aren't familiar, the Lamborghini Centenario 
came OEM with a fat diffuser that had paint matched wing tips. Now, this isn't paint matched, but I have glossy yellow gold vinyl. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this up into strips and we're gonna put a piece here, 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 and here. It might look terrible or it might look good, but we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna measure out some pieces real quick, cut them up, heat gun them on there, and uh, you guys can be the judge. Now here are the little strips that I was talking about. Grab the heat gun, and hopefully this is faster than the whole diffuser install. <laughs> now I'm not a rapper, that isn't perfect, but you don't really see that in videos or photos. It's also too cold and it's late and I'm tired, so. I'm just doing this as an experiment and then you guys should tell me if I should perfect it or if I should take it off. Okay, it's all done. Let me turn on the lights real quick for effect. Check this out. Bam! I think it looks really cool. I actually think it looks cool. It looks different. Not a lot of people do this to their rear diffusers. Let me know. Do you guys like that? Do you not? I think, I think I, I think I hit something here. I think I'm on to something here. Now, you can get this rear diffuser from Senkow Motorsports. Everything carbon on this car, aside from like one piece, is from Senkow Motorsports. They are the guys to go to if you want anything carbon. This rear diffuser has completely changed the M4. As you can see, this is my favorite angle right here. Look at this. Bam! Yeah, yeah. I think I'm keeping the gold on there. It looks really cool. But go ahead, check them out. I believe right now the rear diffuser is on sale. It's like $900 and originally it's $1,200. Also, if you use my discount code, Jake Schneider, you get 5% off. If you want your car to look spicy going into spring, this is definitely a move. Especially after tax season, you know, and you get that tax return. But I think that's gonna be it of today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button and the bell. Thank you so much to Sencal Motorsports again for all the carbon pieces and making my car completely transform. Also, thank you so much to Remy. Go give him a follow on YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everything. He is so nice to let me use his nice warm shop. I'll see you next time. Drive safe. Now there's one more thing I'm curious about. Will the rear diffuser handle a donut? Oh, that was a sorry excuse for a donut. <laughs>